today I am excited to talk to you about a topic that is near and dear to my heart uh, because I've spent so much time in this industry and that is uh, trends and opportunities in the media and telecom industries uh, and I am super excited to have Scott Campbell uh, SAP exec industry executive advisor for media and telecom Scott uh, welcome to the webcast hey John thank you the largest media and telecom companies in the world run SAP because of our end-to-end -end capabilities, but also because we are an open and agile platform to integrate with literally any other technology. So we do this through a foundational um, piece called the Business Technology Platform, which helps you develop apps, it helps you automate and integrate your data to use insights and leverage automation to do things that would previously either just never have been done or that they had to be done manually. And our, our core ERP platform is called S4 HANA, and that helps you plan and manage your business, your spend, your staff, and your customers. So whether you're managing equipment planning for a 5G network rollout, or a new season of a TV series, you can track the asset in its full life cycle with SAP. So, and uh, finally, customers can realize more value by leveraging our industry cloud capabilities, which are a unique industry specific solution suite created by SAP or literally hundreds of partners that can help bring even more value from a business transformation perspective. Right, and and what's what's truly amazing about SAP is, of course, you are, we are you offer this in um, not only a, a a you know the traditional private cloud environment, but SAP is investing a tremendous amount of effort and money into uh, the public cloud, and really, I think we a lot Absolutely. of customers underestimate uh, even the existing power of uh, the core in terms of capability around public yeah. cloud, but also the everything interaction, this, right? Totally. Yeah, everything on the screen is available in our public clouds. Um, so it's not, again, a, a, a heavy lift for companies. We actually have companies as small as $18 million in revenues wow. um, that are running this platform uh, as they grow very quickly. Some of these are very high growth companies. Um, so they need to be able to, to quickly have a handle on a lot of these processes. Yeah. Uh, to be able to scale, uh, you talked about that and a few minutes ago, and that's the, the transform and scale is really at the heart of uh, SAP. And that's, you know, even going back to, to uh, companies like Apple who've stated publicly that they run SAP for the critical business systems. So, you know, it's uh, part of SAP's journey has been to help these companies grow um, as they, they go through the transformation. So, um, you know, that, that public cloud capability uh, means that that of course um, you know much more agility for smaller companies that can get quicker time to value um, to 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 get these capabilities live within a matter of days or weeks. Right, and be because you have we have the de the business technology platform, the BTP, um, that allows for those different integrations. You can start small by focusing on the core your. Um, finance for example and maybe put a put your human capital management and focus on the core while allowing you to integrate some of the other either proprietary or historical applications to allow you to quickly take advantage of the power of sap in the public cloud but then have a a vision for a roadmap similar to you know obviously one of the, the customers we're starting to work with right yes and, and absolutely i mean that's that's where I, I, I love working with Bramasol and these kind of things because you guys have got so much experience working with some of these big customers in fixing these kind of problems and you can bring that knowledge uh, to other companies to help them, uh, you know, fix these kind of challenges. Um, but, you know, the, 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 the bottom line is that, uh, as you say, they'll have, um, you know, the legacy, let's call it systems that they're running. Some they may have built themselves uh you know when they were smaller companies just to do certain functions and uh, of course as they grow they know that those systems are are the critical business systems but uh but they they weren't necessarily designed for the scale that they they now are at so you know we can absolutely help um with with bramasol as well of course being the the the, the real 
a partner in the middle of that that can help them understand mm -hmm. what needs to happen to get through that uh, vortex. Mm -hmm. There you <laughs> um, go. But but you know we've we've done it with so many customers, John. That's the the great thing. I know yep. I I can be on this call with confidence, knowing that Bramasol is one of those companies that 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 actually um, we won't mention any names, but you know you guys are the 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 SES in this area that you come in and fix. Uh, you know these kind of problems are parachuted in, if you like. So, uh, so I know that you, you know, of all companies, have have these capabilities figured out. Yep. Well, thank you. We do.